Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where I am rejuvenated, regenerated, re-energized, and ready to experiment a little bit more. We have this group of uh, tomb colonists aboard the ship, and, well, I kind of want to go to the surface and see what happens. But before we do that, we have business with the Brass Embassy. So let's see. This is Hell's Foothold in London. It's warm, bright, and handsome. Every window blazes with light. There's a screech abruptly cut off from the excruciation annex. And we will pass on the wistful devilesses' information. The deviless has provided intelligence from inside the Brimstone Convention, the aristocrat exiles of Hell. Hell will no doubt be interested. And we get a warm welcome. An urbane devil ushers you into a copper-paneled interview room. There are hunting prints on the walls, but the hunters are devils, and their quarry, or quarry rather, women and men. The devil listens, fingers steepled, to your story, nodding encouragingly. That's terribly helpful of you. Terribly helpful. Could I have the message, please? He reads it with interest. Oh, that's very good. Allow me to offer a consideration to you, here, for your trouble. Bring me more and I'll give you something else, but, ah, uh, do you mind performing some independent verification? You know how expats can get. Sometimes their imagination runs away with them. Anyway, here's a little present for our source. Delightful. So a little bit of money and a gift for the wistful deviless. So should I go north in the future, we can give her a little gift, a little taste of home. Such as it is. But most importantly, we are headed south. And I think this will be the last time I actually show you this little trip because, well, frankly, the whole surface uh, expedition, it's something you've seen me do plenty of times. I think we can take it as read that if I have coffee and I'm going to the surface, I'm going to pick up supplies and then go to hell for fuel. I mean, I think we all know what's going to happen there. I haven't actually seen any changes to I think I'm stuck with the old not anarchists. Not sure what you would call them. The Order? Not really an order, either. Eh. Some terminology for the old powers in that area. Pity I do not know what it is. Thank you for your supplies. Delicious. Now. The reason I'm considering this an experiment, though, is because... I think this is something we've got over several times by now, but basically, on the surface, the natural laws apply such that, uh, well, tomb colonists should not exist. Because they are, well, dead people. That's kind of the whole point of them. So I'm wondering if going into the surface and being exposed to the light of the stars, the stars being judgments that sort of enforce the natural laws, I'm wondering what that will do. You know. I'm curious, what can I say? And, well, you may argue that this is a bad reason to actually, you know, do some terrible, terrible things, which I'm going to be doing to these people, but, uh, don't care. Still going to do it. Potentially killing 11 almost dead people. I mean, they're tomb colonists. I mean, really. They're, I mean, they're technically people. But are they really people? Kind of, yes, actually. Basically, anything that can, you know, have desires or has uh, some personality, I consider that human enough, at least for our purposes. For the purposes of empathy, they're human. But I don't care, because I really want to see what happens if I go to the surface. With them in tow. I think that'll be a fun little trip. Otherwise, I mean, we'll just take them on their next leg of their journey, and that'll be that, you know. A little bit dull, perhaps, but, well, it's reasonable. It's what I'm paid to do, so I mean, you know, I should do it. But I could also not do it, and oh, it's it's tempting. It's very tempting. Anyway, let's get over here, go to the surface, see what happens, and then sell our coffee and possibly either apologize to the people at Vendor Bite, or, you know, well, maybe we won't need to apologize. Let's leave it at that, huh? Maybe. Of course, we're filling the mirror catch box. And I note that they didn't all, you know, burst into flame. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming from a lore perspective, 
that they're all sort of hammered down in the, uh, hold. Well. There goes one of them. Well, pity about him. We're gonna buy our train ticket to Vienna, though. With the revolution there, and I wonder... Hmm. I need letters of the name which burns, which I believe I get in Frostfound? Yes. And yeah, nothing really I can do here. Hmm. I think I'm stuck with the Bureau, which is a much better name than The Order, which is why I thought they were called. They're orderly types, but you know, it's fine. And 3,200 Echoes, that is a ton of money. So very happy. Hmm. And now we must purchase supplies. Quite a bit of supplies, so... Pardon me for a moment. Alright, so I brought us up to a total of 50 supplies, because a thought occurred. The, uh, sisters over on their fortress convent, they buy supplies for a decent amount of money. So I'm wondering, if I go back there, how much will they pay me? Hmm, a thought. A possibly profitable thought. And I imagine that'll be profitable because each supply is five up there. And I believe it's 20 that they pay over there. I believe you guys over here at Abbey Rock, which I haven't uncovered apparently completely. This little black splotch is there. Anyway, figure that they pay 20 echoes per supply, if I'm remembering things correctly. I seem to remember it being just a direct conversion from London to there, you know. If you pay 20 echoes for supplies in London, you get 20 echoes from Abbey Rock. Which means, I will be making 20 echoes, or, well, really making a profit of 15 echoes, on each supply I bring over there. So, I could be pretty much set. Of course, you know, I could have fit more in here, but I wanted to buy fuel. A lot of fuel. Ideally, all the fuel I can get onto the ship, because there's traveling to do. So much traveling. Oh. Oh, dear me, so much traveling. <sighs> People want me to deliver things. Some of them want me to deliver terrible things. And wonderful things. Mostly terrible things, if we're being completely honest, you know. One place wants me to sacrifice these tomb colonists, and, uh, you know. If they kept eating my supplies like they did last episode, I might. Seriously, why they kept eating, like, entire crates of supplies is just baffling to me. Ugh. Disgusting people, these tomb colonists. But I'm being paid to deliver them to places. Uh, suppose it's okay. Oh. The Gazuntite Conspiracy. Hooray. Even the air carries sustenance. Still not... Mm. Oh. Fuck no. I'm not selling you guys the Memento Mori. Oh, that's interesting. The Iron Republic has no government, no representatives, but it has plenty of citizens eager to purchase an engine of destruction. Ah, I, sh I should think not. Thank you, though. Oh, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous piece of technology. Oh, I thought I could actually, you know, use it. But I can't. Sad that that might be. Ah, well. In any case, back to what I was actually worried about. Fuel. As much as you'll let me have, please, thank you. Hmm, 30 sounds reasonable. Oh, do I want prisoners, honey? I, mm, yeah, not really. But I'll keep it on board no matter what. Okay, let's uh, do a quick check. Where do they want me to bring these guys? One moment, please. Hmm. No, 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 no. Objectives. There we are. Polythream. Ah, yes. They want me to take them to the place where the whole island is alive and is quite distant from where we are. Of course. Why wouldn't they? You know what, let's make a stop at Mangrove College while we're there. 
We're in the area, why not? And then, oh, we can make our way over to Polythreme, or at least slightly closer to Polythreme. And then, of course, we gotta go to Khan's Heart, because there's strategic info waiting for us there, which will be stolen by a bunch of spies, so, you know, not much point in actually getting a hold of it. <sighs> it's discouraging. Very discouraging. But, such is life on the Z. And oh, sure, now you're terrified. Well, you know what? Hmm. How far away is Frostfound? Do we dare go that way? Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Oh, you are a silly, silly, silly person. I am in a much bigger ship. Perhaps not as well armed as you know, but I am in a very, very durable ship, and I am oh so very willing to spend the resources it takes to kill you, because you're worth both supplies, fuel, and occasionally something nice. And what have you got for me? Eh, extra fuel. Not the worst of things. Not the best of things, but not the worst either. Now, let's get ourselves over to the Mangrove College. Let's... Let's find someone to bring along somewhere else. Hi. You want to go to Geyer's Moor? And well, that can be easily done. No real issue there. Get our port report. Uh, beachcombing. What, uh, what you got for me? Something glinting. Drowning pearls. Interesting. Oh, the stories there are about drowning pearls. They've never seen the inside of an oyster. Place one under your tongue and you can name the date of your own death. Don't place one under your tongue because they're the transformed eyes of sailors lost at sea. Stories aside, they'll fetch a good price. Indeed. Now, I do have plenty of Foxfire candles, but I'm saving them because we have our ambiguous Eolith. So, I think we all know where I want to go. And, yes, to guard just mourn, please. Best speed, or at least best possible speed, given the conditions. Hmm. I am awfully tempted to make it all the way to Frostfound. We could make progress towards getting our engine. Hmm. It tempts me. It tempts me, and I will have it. Hmm. But first, to Guider's Mourn. And then decisions will be made. Decisions on which direction we wish to go. Well, more properly, which direction we wish to go first. Because, I mean, we've been to Frostfound, seen some terrible things while we were there. Awful, awful things. And died twice, I believe. Unless I am much mistaken. As a direct result of those terrible things which we saw. But on the other hand, when else are we going to be able to go there? Hmm. Oh. Question. Can I sell my sunlight here? Should I sell my sunlight here? Because I can use that to take on one wound and cure some terror. Yes. Plans and plans and plans are forming. Hmm. Hmm, I say. It's risky going to Frostfound. Very risky. Hmm. But on the other hand, progress. Progress requires risk. You know what's going to bother me if this is still here? I'm just going to spend a thousand echoes and do it. Good for me. Yes, lovely. I've already heard of the Pirate Poet, who I can't actually do anything with, because unfortunately I don't have the... Oh, hello. But yes, don't have the DLC. Hmm, gather our intelligence. Oh, five terror, that is quite unfortunate. That might be enough to make it impossible for us to get into Frostfound. Oh dear. Unfortunate. We'll go to the Abbey real quick. 
soon as possible. Test my theory that we can make a profit selling supplies there. Maybe take us down to 30 or 25, somewhere around there. Hmm, nope. No need for battle. No need for battle stations at the moment. In due time, my friends, in due time. Oh, we could go to Demos Island, but I'd rather just go straight to the Abbey. Hmm. Question. We need to be at 20 terror or less in order to get into Frostfound. How much distance have we traveled? Went from the Iron Republic to Abbey Rock. So yeah, that actually seems pretty doable. Especially if I go to the Salt Lions. And I mean, it's a fantastic story. I mean, I love what you have in Frostfound. It's just the best. Possibly my favorite writing in here, although it is... I don't know. I don't know if it's better than what you get at Nuncio or if it's worse. I'm not sure. Hmm... Of course, it might not matter at all if we go over our 14 terror or 20 terror. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Well, let me aboard. Or let me on land. Need provisions. Ah, if only I had uh, some strange catches. And they absolutely will pay for a... Oof, oof, oof. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We almost had... Because we got a strange catch there. I was hoping that they would still allow us to actually, you know... Give in... Uh, oh, well. Oh, well, we're going to just uh, trade supplies again. So, back in a moment. All right, I think 30 supplies should be a good place to be. It's really excessive, if I'm being completely honest. But, I mean, come on. A little bit extra never hurt anybody. Except it does make us less profitable per trip, but that's fine, right? That's fine. It will be okay. Plus, hey, I mean, you know, 200 echoes. Or thereabouts. I can find a use for that. Almost halfway to getting either a mansion or the frigate and I think we're gonna buy the mansion first because I mean it gets us closer to our end goal and while I do want to get the frigate and actually use the uh, fantastic weapon we got our hands on well at the same time I mean well money such money we can make with this merchant cruiser and why we couldn't you know decrease our terror that here is really really we can't do anything no? Okay. That's irritating. Oh, well. So, that being the case, I guess we're going to go on to the Salt Lions and hope that our terror holds. It should, actually. And if we make it to the Salt Lions, I can decrease that terror. And then next episode... Oh. Oh, such fun we will have, or potentially we'll die. That's also a that's a very real possibility. Oh dear. I mean, we have a Scion. We have a Will. So even if that should happen, it's not not the end of the world. But still, mm, oh, I don't know. Maybe pressing on to Frosthound is a mistake. But then again potential money. Well, actually not really money, it's just a new engine. But you know, I like my uh, ship to go as fast as possible. Also, let's see what we did to the uh, salt lion here. Yeah, you still have a face. I wonder, can I not deliver more? Hmm. Well, yes, compile our port report. We could pick over the encampment. Oh, are they gone now? That would be so upsetting. From time to time, some entrepreneur attempts to continue the disassembly of the salt lions. Never ends well, but perhaps they've left something. Gained a terror, which means I can't 
get onto Frostfound. Shit. Unless... Unless I can decrease my terror when I'm there, which I think I can if I get the right events. Although, ugh. Also, I didn't read that, but I just saw the decreased terror and I'm like, oh, you're hurting me. Hurting me deep inside. I can feel that scar on my chest. Ah. Simply devastating. Well, not really devastating, just upsetting. In hindsight, shouldn't have dealt with any of these events, because uh, each of them increased my terror instead of decreasing it. Infuriating, almost. A little bit. A little bit infuriating. But hey, we'll see if Frostfound lets me decrease my terror just a, just a tiny bit. Just a wee bit so I can get in and then grab the mechanic's secret and get the hell out. Don't need much, just need a little bit. Hi. Well then. Guess we're not going here. Ah, deary me. Well, it was a worthy effort, effort, but uh, next episode we're gonna have to go to Godfall and explore what goes on there. Polythreme to get our little tomb colonists on the next leg of their journey, then Khan's heart to grab some strategic information. But for now, Thank you for your time, note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below, use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon.